President Rodrigo Duterte will not interfere with China's probe into the bribery allegations against Chinese billionaire Huang Rulun. Huang, once described as a good Samaritan by Duterte, donated a mega drug rehabilitation facility in Nueva Ecija to help in the Philippine president's war on drugs. A Rappler source says Huang has been in jail since April. Duterte says, quote, I would not comment on the domestic affairs of China, especially on one who has been kind to us, did not ask for anything, just wanted to be of service to his fellow men. Duterte says he is still grateful to the Chinese tycoon, probe or no probe. China on Thursday vows to continue providing the Philippines with necessary assistance, a day after Beijing donated thousands of weapons to the country to help its fight against terrorists. Foreign Minister Wang Yi makes the remarks during a visit by his Philippine counterpart Alan Cayetano and pledges China's help with the reconstruction efforts in Marawi City. Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte received a shipment of assault and sniper rifles and ammunition worth $7.35 million on Wednesday. It is the first example of Chinese military aid since Duterte threatened to move away from the United States, Manila's traditional ally, and seek Beijing's support. The U.S. Embassy said earlier this month that special forces were also assisting the Philippine military in Marawi City. But Duterte recently said he had no knowledge about U.S. technical assistance to the troops fighting in Marawi. The Philippines, which has a mutual defense treaty with the United States, has long relied on U.S. supplied arms. United States President Donald Trump's ban on refugees and travelers from six mainly Muslim countries goes into effect late Thursday after a Supreme Court decision allowed it to go forward. The Trump administration says the temporary ban is necessary to block terrorists from entering the country, but immigrant advocates say it illegally singles out Muslims. The 90-day ban on visitors from Iran, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen, and the 120-day ban on refugees will allow exceptions for people with close family relationships in the U.S. But critics say the government defined that too narrowly excluding relationships with grandparents and grandchildren, aunts and uncles, and others. There are also concerns about the possibly chaotic rollout of enforcement of the ban, like what happened in January when it was first announced. The Department of Homeland Security, which was heavily criticized for mishandling many arrivals when the ban was first attempted in January, vows a smooth rollout this time. It says anyone with a valid visa issued before the ban begins would still be admitted and that all authorized refugees booked for travel before July 6 will also be allowed. In support of National Disaster Consciousness Month, Rappler will hold the first-ever AGUS Summit of Disaster Preparedness from July 7 to 8 at the Samsung Hall SM Aura to gig. The summit will gather disaster management experts, stakeholders, and volunteers to talk about how we can all be better prepared for climate change and disasters. Tickets are limited, so register today.